Welcome to another video. So you want to survive in China? Let me show you how. Today we're talking about your money, how to spend it, how to save it, and how to change it here in China. Let's start by talking about foreign currency. In other words, the money that you're going to bring here to China. How do you change it? What's the most efficient way? Well, I'm not going to beat around the bush here. The most efficient way is to leave your money back home in your bank account and use an ATM here to withdraw RMB. There will be an exchange rate fee. There will also be an international transfer fee, but it generally works out much cheaper and of course much safer than getting your money changed at a money changer or at the bank and carrying cash around with you. A quick note on ATMs here in China. Most of them accept a six-digit PIN number. Every ATM will show you the different services that they support. So just check with your bank so you know which ATM to use when you get to China. Please bear in mind that you have to actually enable the international transfer feature on your home bank account before you come to China. Don't forget that, otherwise you're going to be very, very disappointed. That being said, I do suggest that you arrange to change some money into RMB before coming to China because credit cards are virtually unaccepted everywhere. In other words, you will only be able to use your credit card in a big, expensive shopping mall or some kind of big chain of supermarkets like Walmart or something like that. But all the smaller supermarkets, most restaurants, most shops will not accept credit cards. So you're going to find yourself in a bit of a bind if you arrive here without any RMB in your pocket. So please ensure that you do have some before you arrive. If you don't, you can change in the airport as soon as you touch down. But please don't forget to do this because once you're out of the airport, it's really, really difficult. Let's talk a little bit about the local currency. The local currency is the Chinese RMB, which stands for Renminbi, which means people's money. There are other words for it. You might hear me saying in my videos things like kuai, because that's the colloquial. We say five kuai. You know, obviously in Chinese you'd say wu kuai, and that just means five RMB. It's also called yuan, because it's Chinese yuan. So basically those are the three different words you'll hear for the currency. So what do you do if you arrive in China and you have a huge wad of cash from your home country? How do you actually go about exchanging the money? Well, first of all, it's very important that you understand that not all currencies can be changed in China. I found out the hard way when I bought a whole lot of South African rands the first time I came to China, and none of the banks would accept it. No bank would help me to exchange it, so I actually had to waste my visa, go back to Hong Kong and get it exchanged there. However, if you have US dollars, British pounds or euros, you're in luck. They're pretty much accepted anywhere. Now the process of changing your money in the bank is actually quite laborious. Number one, you're going to have to go and wait in a long queue. Number two, there's a lot of paperwork to fill out and a lot of the times it's all in Chinese. Number three, there will be a big language barrier with the bank staff. Although some of them can speak English, their English is extremely limited, so you're going to have some trouble along the way. Basically, I suggest you save yourself the hassle, forget about going into the banks to do money transfers, and just do the ATM method that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Now, as far as opening bank accounts are concerned, it's surprisingly easy. In fact, China is probably one of the easiest countries in the world to open a bank account. All you need is you need your passport, you need a copy of your temporary residence permit, which is something that you get when you rent an apartment or even if you stay in a hotel here in China. So you will get that from the police, by the way, your local police station. And by law, you're supposed to get it within 24 hours of arriving in China. If you're staying in a hotel, the hotel does it for you automatically. So don't worry if you're tra traveling. So you take those down to the bank, fill out a form, and in about 20 minutes, you have a new bank account with your card and everything. It's incredibly easy. So I do suggest doing it if you're staying here long term. And that way, you can deposit your money, your cash money, directly into the ATM, into your bank account. It's very easy. And of course, I suggest doing that rather than going up to the teller in the bank 
because once again, you're going to have language barrier issues and queues, etc. So when it comes to saving cash in your newly created Chinese bank account, it's actually surprisingly easy. Well, guys, I hope you found this useful. Thank you very much for watching. And of course, I can't wait to see you all in the next video, which hopefully will be a more exciting topic. Anyway, until next time, guys, remember, as always, stay awesome.